hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial for visual c++ windows form application in this video i will show you how to open uh, any file or any executable file with the help of your windows form application using c++ so for example i have taken a button like this open exe file so when i press this button it opens a dialog box and I can choose any file from here which I want to open so for example I want to open my Google Chrome browser so I will just select it and you see my browser is open one more time for example I want to open a text file so I will select this text file and click open and my text file is open so any file which you want to open it will open for you okay so let's see how I did this so first of all I will stop debugging first of all yeah and then what I have done is I have taken a button here and I named it open exe file so take go to your toolbox and take a button and name it according to your convenience okay and then I will select this button and double click it and I write this code code here so first three lines of code is to open the file dialog to choose the path of the file or the exe file you want to open so write open file dialog this cap symbol open file dialog variable name in my case open file dialog 1 is equal to GC new open file dialog this is the declaration of open file dialog variable then write open file dialog which is this variable name arrow pointer show dialog so it will open a file dialog for you now when you select a path or any exe file or file from it we want to copy that path and save it or store it into a string called file path so I declare a string cap file path is equal to open file dialog which is this this variable arrow pointer file name so it will copy the file path or exe file path and store it into my string variable and then I simply uh, write process double colon start and this is the file path I pass into this process one more uh, thing about this apart from this if you having if, if you are having some error or if this gives some error you have to go to the top of your code and go wherever your using name spaces are declared and if this line is not present in your code it will give some error so add using namespace system double colon diagnostics so this is important to open the exe file or the process double colon start code so just go to the top and just declare using namespace system double colon diagnostic and at the bottom you just need to write these four lines okay and then when I run this and I select any file for example pass xmls 
which I have shown you in the previous video. It will open my real Hello player. Guys. Or I want to open some PDF. So it will open the PDF for me also. So in this way you can open any executable file or any file with the help of this button. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.